good morning all of you today in this lecture we are going to study the downstream processing so downstream processing is nothing but the various stages of processing that occur after the completion of the fermentation or bioconversion stage including separation purification and packaging of the product so the general steps which are involved in downstream processing are cell disruption then debris separation precipitation concentration then the purification and the last step is what the polishing of the product the different stages which are involved in the downstream processing are remo removal of the insolubles product isolation then product purification product polishing the few products which are available in the fermentation industry that recovery methods may be considered to combine two or more stages for example expanded bed absorption accomplishes the removal of insoluble and product isolation in the single step then affinity chromatography is often used for the purification of the different type of the product <coughs> removal of the insolubles are carried out with the help of the filtration centrifugation sedimentation and the flocculation and the gravity settling process a filtration is nothing but the mechanical operation used for the separation of the solids from the fluids by interposing a medium to the porous membrane through which the fluid can pass but the solids in the fluid are retained the solid particle deposited on the filter form a layer which is known as a filter cake all the solid particles from the feed are stopped by the cake and the cake grows at the rate at which particles are brought to its surface so all the fluid goes through the cake and filter medium the continuous rotary vacuum filter is one of the most important example of the filtration process which is routinely used in downstream processing continuous rotary vacuum filter is the type of the device in which the drum is pre coated prior to the filtration a small agent of coagulating agent is added to the broth before it is pumped into the filter then the drum rotates under the vacuum and a thin layer of cell sticks to the drum the thickness of the layer increases in the section designed for forming the cake the points which we have to consider while selecting the filter medium include the ability to build the solids minimum resistance to flow the filtrate resistance to the chemical attack minimum cost and the long life also after filtration the next method which is used is the centrifugation centrifugation is used to separate the particles of 100 to 0.1 micrometer from liquid by gravitational forces it depends on particle size density difference between the cells and the broth and the broth viscosity use of the centrifugal force for the separation of the mixture is used for the different types of the product purification the more dense components migrates away from the axis of the centrifuge and the less dense components migrate towards the axis so types of centrifuges used are the tubular bowl centrifuge multi chamber centrifuge disk bowl centrifuge after centrifugation the next technique is the sedimentation it is applicable only for large particles greater than 100 micrometer flocks so it is a slow process and takes more than 3 hours it is used in process like activated sludge effluent treatment it is free settling process depends only on the gravity particle settling is a high particle density suspension then product isolation is carried out that is the removal of those components whose properties may markedly vary from that the desired product water is the cheap impurity we know this and for 